It came now, people. Welcome back to the channel. Also, hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment. It came down. I want to know in the comment section. That's why I said it first. I want to know, but y'all want people out there who's like, yeah, Trump gonna finally get impeached? Hell no. Not not our audience. Cause uh yeah, it came down today. Yeah, he's acquitted. Quit it. I and that's my thing on, on the impeachment thing. Like, I didn't, I didn't know. Like, I thought I knew about they had to vote. Uh, a bunch of people had to vote now, but I didn't know it had to be like two different articles. Yeah. So yeah, he was acquitted on both. Yeah, he was acquitted <laughs> on both. And I'm like, yeah. And, 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 cause and see, like, cause I had just walked by and I saw it on TV and they was counting. And at first it was like six. Guilty, zero, non guilty, and then that non guilty thing just started riling up. Yeah. And then everybody was like, well, you know, it was kind of a party split because a lot of the Democrats voted guilty, probably like one Republican vote. I think I think, I think they said Romney. I yeah, heard the name Romney. Yeah, yeah. He was like the only one who voted guilty. And it was like, yeah, y'all see, really thought the rest of them yeah, Democratic yeah, people yeah, were going to vote but, guilty. But see, this is the thing, Smoke. I mean Republican. I said Democrat. I meant Republican. This is the thing I was saying about the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is running into a major problem. And that problem that they're running into is that the American people are getting sick and tired of their symbolic gestures. See, I said the first time that they started talking about impeaching Donald Trump. I said, Nancy Pelosi is doing this just to try to gin up voters to want to get Trump out of office because she knows damn well that they have the House of Representatives. So you can impeach him in the House. But the Republicans still have the Senate. And the Republicans are not going to impeach Donald Trump. They're not because they are afraid of their voters. They're not going to do shit. They're going to sit back and pray. Some of them are going to pray that Trump lose in 2020. But impeachment? No, they are not finna go against their voters because they know what's going to happen. They're not. This is not like the left wing. See, on the left wing, they're not afraid of their voters because they know their voters going to get in line. But the Republicans, if you go against them, if you go against the Republican voters, they're going to primary your ass. Somebody going to step up and primary you, and all of the Republican voters going to get behind that person. They're going to get behind that person. See, Mitt Romney, he out there in Utah, right? So he feels a little bit safe because of the district that he represents, that the place that he represents. He feels comfortable. So he voted against it. Doug Jones, on the other hand, he is a Democrat who from Alabama. I, I said Alabama. Say yeah. Right. This he votes against. He voted for impeachment of Trump, knowing damn well. Knowing damn well that this is a farce. And Trump is not going to get elected. So you know what's going to happen? The next time he run for office, it took him, it took a whole lot for Don, uh, Doug Jones to get elected. It took for the dude that he run, he was running against was a racist. He was a yeah, pedophile. Yeah, I don't remember that name. Yeah. I think about it. The dude was a pedophile and everything. So what happened is, oh, Shelby, Senator Shelby from uh, Alabama, he kind of gave the Republicans the okay to not vote for him and they left the ballot blank and a lot of them just stayed home so Jones was able to escape through because of the African Americans that came out down there for him but the next time he runs for re-election they gonna run ass against his ass about him in running to impeach Donald Trump mm -hmm. that, that's, that's exactly what they are gonna do and he gonna lose his seat down there in Alabama because Nancy Pelosi want to put on this damn sideshow when she knew damn well that they wasn't going to impeach this dude at all. 
And so then they started doing the trial. The Republicans wanted to bring up Joe Biden and his son. So to testify. Yeah, because he Joe Biden's son had got a job when in the Obama administration that he did not supposed to get. He set up on the board and he didn't supposed to get that job. And people believe that there's some shady shit that went on behind that. So the Republicans wanted to bring that up and the Democrats wanted to bring other stuff up, evidence that they said they had against Trump, but they could never strike out a deal. So I had already knew like from the jump, like, no, man, he's not going to get impeached. Why are you even bringing this up? So guess what? They didn't made him stronger now because of it, because the American people are looking at it saying that this is a nothing burger, just like the Moley investigation turned out to be what? A nothing burger. But you see Nancy Pelosi last night. Which brother ripped up this speech? Yeah, when well she ripped up the speech again. Symbolism. Symbolism. Of resistance. But Nancy Pelosi then gave Donald Trump a blank check to drop all these bombs in these countries. She... Gave him what he, the votes and stuff that he needed on the trade deal. This is not a resistance. It's all symbolic. Everything that they do is symbolic, bro. They support of the African American community. Symbolic. They support of women. Symbolic. They support for immigrants. Oh, we, 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 we the part of immigration. Sanctuary cities. Obama was in office, threw out more Mexican immigrants than all 43 presidents combined before him. Well, you know, the media don't really talk about that, though. Yeah, but everything with them is symbolic. It ain't no, it ain't no substance to the Democratic Party whatsoever, my dude. They is the do-nothing party. Mm-hmm. And gonna continue to be the way until some change. Right? Yeah, the party of symbolism, bro. Remember last year when Nancy Pelosi was doing that little clapping? Yeah, shit? I thought she supposed to do something like that. No, it was supposed to be that she was supposed to shook his hand and try to shake his hand, and Trump didn't want to shake yeah. her hand. It was something. Yeah, and I said everything with her in those in the Democratic Party, man. It's just symbolism. That's all it is, and people are getting tired of that. And um, but and that's why I said the Democratic Party is in disarray. I said they, the person that they had said was a front runner in Joe Biden. He come in a distant fourth place in Iowa, fourth. And now they was down to Bernie Sanders around seven, eight points in New Hampshire. And that primary is what next Tuesday. And I said, yo, get ready for another four years of Donald Trump. Uh, and the blaming of black people, and, and including black, you, know, you black women. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. And, and I, no, they, they ain't gonna, yeah, they're going to school black women from this. They'll blame black men for the shit. But he going to get elected again. He going to win again, bro. Because I said them approval ratings don't supposed to be 49%. Damn near 50. Don't supposed to be 49, man. It's at 49. And Trump have been a horrible president. <laughs> horrible. And that dude approval rating is sitting at 49. But all of this stuff is just bad. Just bad optics. And Nancy Pelosi, she just keeps doing it over and over and over again. Then... Monday, they had the the Iowa caucus and the vote was all screwed up. Now you have this company named called Shadow that supposed to have been making the app and the app was screwed up. And the first time that they actually tried to use the app was on election day. They had a whole year to figure this thing out. 
Well, then for why years. Was Hillary Clinton was a part of that, and like, why is she there? Yeah, like, like go home. Pete Buttigieg, he paid for, um, the app to be made. Some of the people who work in his campaign have ties to the 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 shadow company. Are One you trying to say that why he has such a high voter rate? Yeah, Hillary Clinton advisor. Is the CEO of the company Shadow? I said all of this just look bad, man. It just looked bad, and I said these folks they already got problems Shady politics. with people not trusting that party. Black people, Latinos, white people in the Midwest. I definitely say. But now, if they end up making this thing look like they stole this stuff from Bernie Sanders. Again. Again. Man, these people are gonna walk away from this process, dude. They're gonna walk away from it. They're gonna look and understand that no man, this thing is rigged. It's rigged. Which someone had always has always felt that way in the first anyway, place. Anyway, yes. And now like, you just blatantly pointing um, out like the it the, like last I think it was last year a young lady up there in New York, she was running for a house seat up there. And they had announced her as the winner. And then they came back and said no. And then they threw out some ballots. And gave her opponent the win. And all the Democrats went up there and celebrated. And they were like, wait a minute, they threw out ballots. And my thing is for these progressives. These progressives are soft as a baby's ass. Because if I kept getting screwed over, bro, I would make this known. I would make this known that hell no. Hell no. This shit is rigged in a month. But they take their whippings from the establishment and keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. The progressives do. And it's like, no, man. These folks are going out of their way to make sure y'all stay out of that thing. Make it, and I said they too soft. The progressive wing is, and they gonna have to get stronger going up against these folks. The progressives go around pretending like these moderates are their friends, and these moderates don't go around pretending like progressives are their friends at all. But I said this whole thing with Trump though was disgusting. No, no, no one for me because. I already knew what was going to happen. We talked about this plenty of time. We were just waiting for it to come down. Waiting on it to drop. Like yeah. When you know the future and what the future holds, you're not shocked when it's mm-hmm. when it come true. I, I would have been shocked if it was different. Like, really? But I knew it. Yeah. and it Like, took- I'm telling you, I'm sitting there watching the, the, the vote tally in. And I'm like, okay, they got a bunch of guilty, no guilty. And then that, that no guilt, not guilty, just shut up. I said, yep, that's what I went on. Mm-hmm. That's what I went yeah. on. And, and, and I was like, so they weren't finna get something. And you know, and they know how cowardly some of these Democrats are on this issue. Now, that might have been, no, I think we actually predicted that the year where the Democrat would vote for him to be guilty, but... When it comes to the Republican side, they weren't going to do that. They weren't, they're not going to do it. And you got, what, one or two? But that was and, it. And, 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 and if I were the Republicans, I probably would have done it. Because Mike Pence probably would have been a stronger candidate than Donald Trump in 2020. They might be scared of him, too. Yeah, but it's just crazy, man. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe. Tell us y'all what y'all think, man, about the impeachment thing, man.